start recording. Here's the second league with Death Shadow. Um, I board in these grindy cards to try to go toe to toe with these blue white decks, and they just do it better. So now I'm just going to try a strategy where I just like sidestep it, like just go around them. Because like I think I could have 15 cards for control decks in this sideboard and maybe still lose the matchup. It's just like, it's just how it goes. Is the cost of doing business, boys and girls. This is awkward. It's a pretty quick Gurmag Angler. We've already got three cards in the graveyard. We need to see three new ones, so I'm going to keep it. But, like, this hand, like, if this hand just peters out, then, you know, it could just peter out and die. Okay, so we're playing against Tron, so we're going to have to turn the speed up. If they don't have any, they kept seven, they don't have a play on one. So that's pretty impressive. So we're going to go get Watery Grave because we're going to use our mana no matter what. I'm going to cycle one of these because I wouldn't mind casting a discard spell. All right, that one wasn't great. Yeah, I mean, it's a different way to look at it. Uh, we want to put this on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, put this on top. Yeah, it's just a different way to go at it that I want to try. <clears throat> yeah, I think we can beat Jess Guy, but Blue White is not good. And my version of the deck is worse against control decks. Like I, I think I pick up points against the field because it's faster, but it's definitely not as good against the control decks. Okay, cycle one more time. So we get a fetch line. We can hold up stubborn denial. I guess we just cast this because we can still cast Gurmag Angler. And just like hope they don't have Tron piece kill me. Mine power plant tower. Yeah. We're dead. Power plant, mine, pa oh, no, there's the tower. Which has like the natural Tron into the beats there, which is tough. We're not going to beat this hand. <clears throat> so we're going to move to our sideboard. And maybe I shouldn't have kept my hand. My hand was like, it was like a turn two angler, which is tough to, it's tough to ditch that, but. Bring in these here and the Colagon's commands, and then just cut my six removal spells. Go just like this. I don't think Kira changes the matchup that much. You still lose to the same stuff. I might end up playing Magnus's deck, but I'm just trying something new here. But I just want to get them, you know? Like, have them tap out for their big, dirty thing, and then just, like, kill them. Steal the game. We're going to try that. So we can just rely on Serum Visions. We're on the play. We have Shadow Battle Rage and a couple, and like three fetch lands. So we're, it, like the Shadow's going to be big. Maybe we can get something good off of this Serum Visions to find a way to get it. I don't think we want this either. I think we just want we want to find ways to like we want discard spells, we want ways to interact. That's fine with how our hand is built. Okay, so there's a turn two shadow. 
So let's fetch blood crypt and then cycle this. So now our hand's turned on. As long as I don't have a dismember here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, let's hope they stumble and we just get them. That's interesting. We could be getting gut here a little bit, but if this holds them off Tron, just buys us a little bit of time. No. Okay, I thought I clicked on the island on accident. So now if we hit something like a Thought Seize or a Street Rank, we got them. We're gonna let that one go because I don't want my shadow to get dismembered. Okay, so they're gonna have Tron next turn. Okay, we're gonna let that go. That doesn't really impact our clock that much. Because we can just, if they block, we're just gonna battle rage over it. Okay, so they can't do anything next turn. So. And now we just stub their next play. If they, I guess they play Thrag Tusk. Thrag Tusk is going to be annoying. If they go Thrag Tusk into Tron piece into Worm Coil Engine, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to puke. We have a couple cards that do it for us, but... One, two, three. Here's the Thrag Tusk. We got a beat. Of course, we're going to use control, but yeah, same as this matchup. <laughs> All right, so we have. The problem is, we have to counter this. World Breaker, and just hope that they stumble. Like we hope they draw like Carns for the rest of the game. Players is mine. Gosh, man, we are just getting beat up tonight. Because like the World Breakers coming next with the Sanctum. Man, these last four matches have been tough. They shouldn't attack. So we gotta kill us next turn, or we find a shadow this turn, find battle rage. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, that was a bad, that was a beat there. Man, we are getting worked tonight, these last four matches. This has been rough times for the homeboys. <clears throat> I haven't even played against a control deck yet, which is like what I want to try to play against here to see if this works out. 
So, like, hopefully we play against a control match. All right, we're going to keep this. This hand's pretty good. If we're playing something like humans, it's not great, but... Okay, so we're playing against a control deck. Sweet. So this is what we're looking for, boys and girls. One on the top, one on the bottom. All right, we didn't we didn't need a second nasty. <clears throat> so the main deck Bane Slayer Angel. You don't say. Well, I guess we're just gonna take that Bane Slayer Angel. I'd like to be able to take that Serum Visions, but man, if they get to that Bane Slayer Angel, we're, it's not like we're putting out that fast of a clock here. So they probably have a counter spell on top of their deck here, if I had to imagine. Hold on. Put them up on them. Put on top. How bad do we want to run this Death Shadow into a Logic Knot? Probably not that bad. Sucks we hit this after taking that thing, though. I'm going to cycle this. I think we're going to run this in there because like, they're going to be able to Logic Knot us next turn. So this gets it out of their hand at least. I just didn't have a lodge knot. What did they do? They just went blue, blue. Pass. And they didn't even. I'm confused. I am confused with what's going on right now. That's not terrible. What are you doing in my draw step, dude? So what they keep on top? Terminus. So do we, million dollar question, do we think they have a counter spell? Can we win if they have a counter spell? Angler. I didn't think that turned out very well there, Pacwa. Like I, I was like confused about what I should do, and I got like lost in my train of thought. I don't know. I'm gonna stream as long as, as long as I'm having fun tonight, probably. So if we if we if they don't have a counter spell, and we draw two ways to deal damage to ourselves, we can kill our opponent. Okay, that's not one of them, but it is a stubborn denial, which could buy us time. Okay. There's their planes. Oh, baby. What does that do? That's better used next turn, I think. We're gonna go like this, so that we make so they have to cryptic on their main phase. I should have thought seized first. I just clicked through my attack there. I should have thought seized, because now if he tries to cryptic command me, then we just get him. We just get him, baby. 
What do you God, I hate these draw step stops so much. Just the old draw step. This is such a bad time to do it. Oh baby. All right. This feels nice. Feels nice to pick this game up. Mm hmm. Okay, so we want we don't want the battle rage. We don't want the bolt. We don't want the push. We want counter squall. Stub. And then two lunges. And then we're just going to hope that postmortem lunge takes us to the promised land, boys and girls. Boys and girls. I wish I could get like, ooh, I need to figure out how to get Uber Eats on my phone. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan this hand. This hand doesn't do anything. All right, so there's the lunge. I'm going to keep this hand because it has the lunge in it, and I want to just like draw it and do stuff with it. I'm going to put this on the bottom because I'm just going to delve my whole graveyard away pretty quickly. Let's see if it does. We're playing against Blue White. That's definitely going to allow us to play Angler on two. And then we'll see if maybe we mill something over. God. Quit it with the draw step. Man, so we have to play Angler, which is great. So they have double path, double J's, you don't say. Oh, that's tough. This is just take a Jace and then just try to dig for another Jace. But I guess this like goes against my post-mortem lunge plan. I probably should just try to take both of the, yeah, this is not on plan. So let's go, I'm going to get another Watery Grave so that if they field me, they can't choose. Okay. Yeah, see, now I'm just up shit creek without a paddle here. Yeah, I messed this up. Well, hopefully they respect it. Search. So they're probably just going to play the search on this turn. I feel like not being favorable to dismember a planeswalker is a flavor fail. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay. Go team. I'm going to cycle this end of turn in case I hit another thought scour. Tilt. Put on the bottom. Put on top. I guess I could have kept the K command. That was stupid. God, I'm all over the place in this second league. 
So now we're just going to play into this, get this thing passed. I should have left the K command on top. It's not really going to matter because we're going to fetch no matter what, or shuffle. Yep, so let's go get a land. Uh, probably basic island. I guess our K command is also going to get like not castable because of field of ruin here pretty soon. It's good to know that we are at six. Get my swamp. So they have an island left. So they bricked. That's not bad. The problem is we need to just we had to close this dank game out fast because they are they're gonna they're gonna kill us pretty quickly here. Yeah, opt opt is hot garbage. I will. Like you, you like you've gotta learn to understand how to use like serum visions correctly with Street Wraith and then they understand. Like I struggled with that. I didn't get how to do that, and it cost me for a while. Um... Dismember. No K command for the home team. So that's both of them? Or did we see one in game one? It is very odd. We have not seen a shadow in the top 30 cards of our deck. Dispel. Dispel is going to be kind of a beating. I kind of want to just dispel this to get the card out of their hand. Because this is the only time that my stub is going to be actually turned on here. So I might as well, like, they're, they're not going to have to trade for this. So I might as well make him trade. And now we're just going to draw step them with this K command. Hopefully they didn't hit a counter spell or something here. Return this discard. They can as Kanta into something, but that kind of like uses their whole turn. Yeah, we don't really have the time to play slowly there, Ketsu Bloodhawk. So they hit a pass. So let's see what they discard. They discard the path. The last card's got to be pretty good.
What do you got, dude? You got at least one path. No, you don't have a path. So your cards are going to be pretty good. You probably kept like a Planeswalker or something. Okay. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. A Detention Sphere? Jesus. Oh, my God. A Detention Sphere? Oh, my God. We were so close. God, I'm going to hurl. Oh, we get that one answered. I don't think so, I will um it's like this is much faster, which I think is what we're looking for. I think you always I think most of the time when these decks taking the cheaper card is where you want to be. Alright, yeah, they have a Gideon. Let's take one more draw step. Like, maybe. <clears throat> I think I messed this game up from the beginning with how I initially thought seized. I would agree. I would agree with your humble opinion. All right, we're on the play. Let's be aggressive and let's see if we can get it. <clears throat> it's our fourth league of the night. We've been going for a while. Two in Legacy, two in Modern. Went 0 3 first one Legacy, 4 1, then 2 3. Yes, yeah, pretty solid one. I'm going to just lead on this polluted delta. And basically, thoughts carry no matter what. I'm not going to stub a cantrip. Okay. We should turn our draw steps off so that we're not hypocrites. We can only whine about our opponent's draw steps. So I'm going to think I'm going to fire off this discard spell. Actually, I'm going to wait and do that next turn. I'm going to hold step up for like search for Iskanta. And then go discard spell into shadow. We're trying it. It's not a bad draw. Let's take a look here. All right, so my phone's hands a bunch of garbage.
right, ops good. We got two in the sideboard. So they drew that. We're gonna make it a two-turn clock here. You can exclamation point card it and it will show it. We'll bring it up there. Surgical. So I should stub this. I know my opponent's hand. Take up, take cryptic. Knock the top of their deck. What do you got, man? I can't look. Come on. Come on. Come on, don't do this to me. Don't do it to me. Yes! Yes! Oh. I don't know who the best guy is, to tell you the truth. Um, I think you want four lay lines on the board. I think you want to be playing Serum Visions. Um, and, that's, and that's all I'm really, you know, super settled about. All right, I'm going to go turn some lights on here. Dude, it's so bad. I get so hyped whenever I win it. All right, we're on the play, which is sweet. This hand's not that great. It's got both of our basics in it. I'm going to keep it, but it's pretty ugly. No, I decided to play a fourth Serum Visions. I just like, I like Serum Visions a lot in this deck. Play another control deck. It's Island. I guess just in case we're playing against Storm, I'll get the Steam Vents, but I hate getting the Steam Vents. I should have just not. Battle Rage. All right, let's just make sure we know what they are. Oh, we're playing against Merfolk. Gross. <clears throat> I 
I think the right thing to do is to play Serum Visions. I think if you're playing, if you're not playing your Shadow Deck without Serum Visions, I think you're, I think you're doing it wrong. All right, so we're gonna need a whole lot of witchcraft to do this. I think we're. I don't even think we're gonna bolt this. We're going to hit something that actually matters. Sadly, this spreading seed matters. I guess the spreading seed, no, that was so stupid of me. The spreading seed doesn't matter that much. It kind of does. It cuts off our only red source, actually. So we're good. We're good. I'm gonna have to deal with this Harbinger at some point, but I can like snap Thoughtseize next turn. What does he have? All right, now we're cooking. So we're gonna take the Harbinger, then play Shadow, and then we might be able to just Battle Rage for like 42 here. It's probably going to happen at some point. Serum Visions is always great. I think that if you say that Serum Visions is not great, I'm not, I don't think that, I don't think that you like comprehend how good it is in the deck in conjunction with Bobble and that makes sense. In conjunction with Bobble and um, Street Wraith. So we have a fetch land next turn. We might kill our opponent. Because I didn't think Serum Vision was a good card. Either. Like, I was there. I hated Serum Vision. And then I started to play with it and started to understand it. And started to see the intricacies and then thought it was much better. A bit of versions. Do you mean like a green shadow deck? Like a Jun Shadow? Oh, baby. You getting Wily? You're dead. You're dead. Battle range. Silly merfolk player. Combats for shadows. <sighs> Didn't even need the red source. Well, so they could have they could have definitely like on their side they could have played around battle rage. Like you don't chip shot a death shadow player. Just build your board up, hold up harbinger of the tides. Okay, flash your harbinger times at the end, then go like lord lord, you have an island. So literally just this is how my opponent wins. My opponent flashes passes, flashes in harbinger of the tides, bounces my shadow and attacks, plays an island, goes lord I guess they couldn't quite go Lord, Lord, Animate Mutavault. But, like, you don't chip shot them. You just hang out. Since January, but of late, I felt like San Francisco was too slow. Well, 
like you can play with looting. Like I, I, I don't think I'm not saying that looting is bad. You know, I've played looting before. I would like to, I might get time to play a version tonight with looting in it. Uh, I don't even know what's good, what's bad against this deck. Um, my counter spells. Let's get rid of these. And then let's cut two discard spells. Um, commercial life, it seems smoother and more consistent, but I hate not playing blue. Yeah, so the thing with like those five color traverse decks, I played those forever. I played those for like a year. And what ended it finally was just like humans. I could not beat the humans deck. You can play Seer Visions and Looting. Like, I've, I've definitely, like, the version... Oh, Bog 1989, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. We'll open up a chest for you. A little chesty. Thank you very much, Bog 1989. You are great. Open up one of these bad boys for you. Holy shit, we got a Tarmogoyf. Wow. You give another... Holy shnikes, another one? Alright, we'll open up another chance. What's the price on Tarmogoyf? Oh, that's not as much as I thought it was. This is probably the best moment of my life. It's no doubt the best moment of mine. So what we got for the other side? Nothing. Sad. All right. Mulligan. Whew. All right, we're gonna keep this one. It's not much better, but on six, we're gonna put this on top because we can do the bubble. We can do the boggle trick. Yeah, they are very cheap on Moto. Well, that's because, like, I'm for, I, I think I'm going to sell my Tarmogoyfs because, like, the time of Tarmogoyf has just, like, come and gone in Modern. And it's just, it's sad. It really is. Like, oh, man. Just so sad to see the old Tarmy boy go. I don't, I think we need a threat. Like, removal is great. Uh, I guess removal is really good. We're going to pass. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to sell my Tarmac Like, I, I want to do a bunch of magic stuff. And, like, my wife and I save a lot of money towards getting a house. So, like, I got to kind of, like, juggle my budget a little bit with magic. Silver Girl up here would be a real pain in the ass. And they're revealing another Silver Girl adept. Yeah, I don't think Jun's ever going to go nuts again, unfortunately. I drew land, which is sweet. Three hundred twenty-one viewers here. I appreciate all you guys showing up and hanging out. You all are great. I'm going for a run. Well, I'm looking out for you, dude. Take it easy, Ed. Andrew. Okay, there's Nasty. We're getting nasty. We're getting nasty. That's the theme of this channel. We get nasty on turn two. Jund is bad abs and abs is bad Mardu. <laughs> Andrew knows his shit. You have big brain over there. Big brain Andrew. Good luck in your PTQ this weekend, Andrew. I'm going to go to a PTQ tomorrow. I still need to figure out how to get there. Dude, they turned my island swap into an island. I think it's honestly just time to, like, kill everything and serve. 
baby. So that means we can play, no, we can't play a second nasty, unless we hit something sweet here. So let's see what we can hit sweet. We hit a fetch land and then get nasty again, or we can just get the real Slim Shady going. All right, so we're going to bolt this thing. Smack. You're going to counterspell this, dude. Get in there with with our boy. It kind of sucks we can only cast one black spell a turn. Nice thing about Dismember is that it's not a black spell. Because, like, the color pie, man. How's it going, Spider Space? Take it easy, Andrew. Wow, that's a long ways away. I've got, like, I've got, I can play in two this weekend. I can play in two basically every weekend of August. I guess my opponent masters of waves. It's kind of a kick in the sh in the shorts here. So we're gonna reveal harbinger, 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 harbinger. Yeah, I stream usually twice. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, so my opponent's probably losing their mind because they hit a lord here and they can't cast their lord because they tapped like a like an ass hat. I usually stream every Wednesday night and every um, and every Sunday. Every Wednesday night and every Sunday morning. My wife's out of town now, so I've been streaming more lately. Oh my god. What does this mean? This means they have to have a dismember, right? So. This is like they have to have dismember. Or they're just like have their heads squarely in their butts. I put our opponent on top deck dad. <laughs> That's such an awesome name. Top deck dad. We're going to play like our opponent does not know anything. That is our line. If you're Deadlands, lower our lives. Because you can't fetch it. Just thinking how great that name is. It is pretty sweet. Dude, I'm here for you, Archmage. I am here for your entertainment. I can't wait, Archmage, until you get a job and you can subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be so honored when you get a big boy job and you sub to this channel. I'm probably going to throw a party. Honestly, Archmage is like joke on you. I'm never going to sub to this channel. I'm going to throw you a rent. I'm going to like, dude, my rent down here in DC for me and my wife is two grand a month. All right. I don't want to hear about big boy rent. Okay. Wow. My opponent's dead. We're going to untap. We're not going to get spell pierced. Uh, let's just make sure we're not falling for anything here. God, look at this, dude. I have such a big brain. 
So that is a lot, Red Man. But like, I would do anything for a mortgage because like, if you have a mortgage, at least you're putting something into your future. You know? Exactly. Like, I, I, I literally like look at my wife and I. We look at our income when we go to make our budget. We got this pie chart here. All right. You literally cut twenty five thousand dollars out of our out of our pie chart a year and that's just rent good father that's all that matters like i i'm a very low quality human being but i am gonna be at least a great kick-ass dad stereotype like i'm gonna get some new balances all right they are gonna be of like they're going to be stained green. Yeah, rent sucks so much. But like, but homeowner, but like, at least one day you're going to be able to sell that home, right? Like, I, I hope to God you're not paying a mortgage that's $360,000, $3,600 3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, a year. That you're not going to be able to sell it, right? Shelter is a scam. We all should just live in a van down by the river. We live in a van down by the river. Yeah, Red is getting someone else rich. Let's all band together and live as a Twitch stream collective, dude. You know, we should all just, like, what if Twitch chat just took over the government? So tired of that. It's all fucking Teferi. And it's all day long making my soul hurt. Teferi is too damn good. You know how nuts this hand would be? I almost want to just like send it. I'm so close. How many draw? I get two draw steps at a second land. All right, we're we're in the mood. You need a mortgage advice? You just let me know. Literally buying and selling a home year of the month. Sold our first one. Dad skills, dude. You probably did all that work by yourself while holding a beer, didn't you? You like bought that home. You sat there. You did some work on it. You looked at it. You did some yard work. All right, so this is a good matchup. Explore. I think I'm just gonna take the explore because it's basically the same thing as the search, but it draws a card. So this is like this is a faster version. With your shirt off, right? Just God, do how much of an asshole do I feel like now? You know, there's nothing that just puts you on a little more, like, life tilt than Thoughtseize. You know, like, I legitimately think that I got better as a Magic player as soon as I started playing Thoughtseize. But I've also just had, like, a worse life. Like, I'm just actually a sadder individual because I play Thoughtseize. Yeah, dude, Twitch Prime to the housing market. Dude, what more do we need? Oh, my opponent F6 through their turn? That sucks. All right. You're dead. What is this? You know, stifle me? Yeah, stifle will be actually kind of brutal right now. <laughs> Way to go, Delver guy. 
Way to go. I'm just an out I'm just a guy that's looking to put the least amount of effort in as possible. So we got here Fetch Shock, 15 going in there. Alright, let's just go, let's thought see them. Because they could they could theoretically breach Titan. Dude, this whole like fetch when I fetch thing is throwing me off. Like I keep think I keep having like a mini heart palpitation. Then my opponent's gonna like stifle me for some reason. I'm down in uh, Alexandria. I'm right off the Eisenhower Metro stop. It's wild. I got soul power. All right. My opponent is. My opponent's just. My opponent's so unlucky. First they get paired against me, then they draw like shit. Like, God, it is tough to be my opponent. <clears throat> I just hope to play against so many Vengevine decks tomorrow and I can just leyline the piss out of them. All right. You want Counter Squall, Stubborn Denial, Battle Rage. This member is okay because they play Obstinate Bayleth, but it's really not that good. I think we're just going to go like this because Lightning Bolt can enable a fast shadow draw. <clears throat> Mulligan. I think if you've got four ley lines, you're doing okay. All right, we're going to keep this one. I am likely going to bolt myself on turn two. This counter squall might be too cute. Didn't I put that on the bottom? <clears throat> oh, baby. So we're not going to be able to play a Shadow, but we can bolt a Tireless Tracker. You definitely need Ley Lines, though. Like, you need Ley Lines, and you have to be committed to the matchup. Yeah, I mean, the, whatever it is, my, uh, oh, we're not going to play that. <clears throat> my postmortem lunges might be too cute, but we're just, like, we're just fishing at this point. All right, so we're going to ditch this Primeval Titan. And we're going to kill them before <clears throat> they escape shift me, hopefully. Oh, shit, No. God, I got talking and messed up there. I I have only played Leyline a couple times. Yeah. I don't know, to tell you the truth. So I can get packed in next turn now. God. We're just going to summon his pack right now. Oh, this is getting Steve. So, summoner's pack, cast Steve. Play a land, crack with Steve. So, I actually have to hold up a counter spell. I guess I didn't have to. Oh man, that's so frustrating. I just like zoned out. I'm just like a distract. I'm a little distracted. Let's 
Snapcaster Mage. I don't want that. I actually kind of do want Snapcaster Mage. So that's me. Take this. Get on the battlefield. They're not even close with their Valakut. Oh shit, I just shuffled it away. God. Huh. I got all kinds of stuff going on. I gotta like, gotta focus. Between viewers and number of punts. There probably is. I've never had this many viewers for this long. If we're gonna be just like totally above the rim here. You guys have been with me for four or five hours now. I really appreciate that. OMG, all them misplays. They happen. They happen. We're trying. I'm definitely just going to bolt this thing. I'm getting Steve out of the way. Uh, yeah, so I've had higher single views in this, but this is probably the longest average I've had. I'm going to just cycle the Street Wraith next turn because that's lethal. This is how good this matchup is, by the way. Like, if you're if you're very into this, uh, you know, if, if you're, like, wondering... You know what this Titan Shift matchup is like as a Death Shadow player? You can just play like a complete asshole and still usually win this matchup. Let's say Rip a Titan. Oh, Bayloth is annoying. Now they have to block. This is like what well, this doesn't matter though, right? There's not, they're not. It's like, do you just like not, do you not get it? Like, gotcha. All right, I'm going to restart Moto here before the last round there. So let me just throw the sponsor page up here. I appreciate you all for hanging out tonight. We're having a really good time. I'm, this is awesome. We had some subscriptions. I opened up a Tarmogoyf. I think we're about to 4-1 a league. I really appreciate you guys for showing up and hanging out tonight. My name is Dylan Hovey, and I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. Um, if you guys haven't seen, please hit the follow button. We've had many of you guys follow tonight, which is great. It's been a super-duper stream. Um, if you have any Magic Online needs, check out Card Hoarder. They are great. Um, they're just the best bot chain in the business. They support small streamers like me. They're just great. Um, if you guys want to support me outside of following, head over to my YouTube channel. It's linked below. Hit subscribe there. It's free. It's the best way to support me without opening up your pocketbook. Uh, if you need singles, check out Gamer Craze. That's where I learned to play Magic in upstate New York. They're linked below. And if you guys want to interact with me about Magic all the time, at any, you know, just be able to talk to me. Check me out on Twitter. That's also linked below. I love talking magic on Twitter. I usually tweet about beer, magic, and my puppy. So those are pretty awesome things to listen about. So, yeah, y'all should go check that out. And feel free to subscribe to the channel like many have tonight. If you subscribe to the channel, it is all the profits from that are going to make sure that my dog stays fat because he is cuter fat. Faith is looting is still fine. Like, Brynax? Brynarax? I have no problem with Faith is looting. Like, I just took Magnus Lanto's list and tweaked it. I have not tried Faith is lootings with the... Um, I have not tried lootings with the... Whatever it is. Can't speak. I have not tried Faith is lootings with the... Ley lines yet. And that might be warranted. Maybe the next league will try that.
Yeah, I mean, that might be what we try out next. Oh, our opponent is 3-1 and one also. They're going for the profit. It ain't going to happen. They are about to get dunked on. Nice. How is he? I played against him on Moto, and, he's, and uh, I talked to him on Twitter. He seems pretty reasonable. His hand is pretty good. I'm going to thought seize. I'm going to bobble and thought seize my opponent and save my street wraith over here. If you're in the chat there, David Paolo, thank you very much for the YouTube subscription. Guy is the real MVP. Which is fine. Like, you don't need... You don't need the six effects that um, that what's his name played. You don't you don't need all those. Like you can play good cards like Serum Visions and still do the busted shadow things. Still do the delve shenanigans. Isn't like the the theme of this channel is that we get nasty on turn two, right? That's literally what we've been doing all night. Um, I kind of want to hold a stubborn denial, but like I guess. Hitting Faithless Looting isn't that great, unless we are playing the Dredge Vine deck. But I think this guy plays Mardu, Pyromancer. He won the tournament, yeah. Okay, so we just get rid of one of these, and we are digging for Battle Rage. My opponent's going to have at least four zombies. So I likely should have held it. Okay, so now we, we have a route to win this. This is likely a discard of, like, looting plus, or a bridge plus anything. If it's not two bridges, we can still win. But if he, did, if he ditches double bridge, we're going to struggle a little bit. Yeah, after this is done, I'll probably run to the store, grab some, uh... I don't know if streaming tonight, all my videos will be starting to get archived on YouTube. Wow, they didn't ditch the bridge. You're kidding, right? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Just looking for a land. Okay, there we go. So, do we want a second land? We probably actually want this second land. Because we want to just make our Death Shadow huge. Depending on how much damage my opponent does to his, him or herself next turn, I probably, I can almost kill them. Because I can deal 16 right now. So if I hit a Street Wraith, if I hit a Street Wraith, they're in trouble. They must have just misclicked when they did this. His Reddit post was also pretty, pretty awesome. Lista for one. We're just going to hit this. My opponent shoots me. Probably, maybe not me. I don't know. And then I'm just going to serve in, have Stubborn Denial up. I don't think there's a draw that kills us through Negate. And then this matchup gets much better for us. No, well, they didn't. I think he just misclicked. Like, I really think that's what happened. 
Because you just you just on turn one you pitch bridge, pitch two of those, and then you have four power on play on turn one. I think they they probably just misclicked. If we're gonna be like above the rim. Just getting in there with our boy. Shady boy. Stub your imaginary spell. All right. So this matchup does get much better after sideboard for us. So we bring in six cards. Right here. <clears throat> and then we cut our stubborn denials. And basically Inquisitions and Fatal Pushes. They aren't that great. Like Bolt and Dismember have the upside of killing um, Benjvine quickly, but also they can um, they kill Benjvine, but they also can like enable powerful shadow draws. Yeah, this ley line is gas here. We mulliganed to like three last time looking for our ley line. So I don't know. I don't know how right that is to do. <clears throat> All right, ley line, no ley line, chipping it. Heater. I'm going to put this on top because this feeds Delve and Shadow. They have ley line also. Hey, why would you put both ley lines in a play? You're just going to ditch one of those to your Faithless Lootings. Yeah, they either need to be like those like shadow battle rage aggressive draws, or they gotta have ley line. Yeah. I'm gonna cycle at least one of these. So we're probably cutting Gurmag Angler up to sideboard. And I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna hit with a discard spell here. Because they could have some annoying stuff. They've just got to, like, man, that's, like, ley line is important, but, like, God, that's a tough seven. The thing is, is, like, ley line is not even that good against, like, it is very good against Death Shadow, but it is not the knockout that it is against this deck. Because, like, you can still, as a Death Shadow player, you can just play one mana 8-8s. Eight and you have cantrips and stuff. Like, you, you just play a better, I guess you play a better bad game. You suspend Greater Gargadon. That's that's worth paying attention to. All right, so there's the other half. I'm going to start with this, because if I hit a Serum Visions, I want to cast it. Okay, we didn't hit a Serum Visions. Yeah, man, we're we're doing we're doing pretty awesome tonight. So how does this thing work here? Artifact, creature, or land? Okay. All right, they're stitching. I think these decks should play main deck ley line, but geez, we're just gonna like crawl up and die here. Come on, where's the real Slim Shady? We don't have a lot of time. Let's 
So this comes off in like three turns. One, two, three, four, five. They play another creature. There's casting in the ley line. No, Blister for two, okay. One, two, three, four. We need a shadow. Quick. I guess we just get this before they sack it. So you can deal one damage to me and then sack it, which is probably the right thing to do. Because it makes so the Gargi Boy is lethal. Gargi Boy. Alright, so I got five permanents, six counters. So if they put anything in the play here, they can just Gargan on me. Uh, I need a shadow. Come on. Come on, dude. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, deck. Come on, deck. Don't do this to me. This deck deck's going to do it to me. Oh, this has been a heartbreaker. And that's sometimes that happens. You just missed. Why aren't we milling them with Scour? Good question. Without a graveyard, I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter on either end, right? Like, it's just math. Like, we could be milling bad cards from them. We could be milling bad cards from ourselves. We could be milling, you know what I mean? Isn't that all just odds? All right, we're going to get Gargadon here. Oh, I'll just dirt one around my wedding ring and drop it. We need some help here. It matters in case of getting info or not giving it to them. Okay. Yeah. We can guard. Yeah, we're good. We're not going to make him do it. He saw the line. Okay. So now we got a board for a better inept game, I guess. So let's get the Fatal Pushes back in. Let's cut these Gurmag Anglers. Um, what else are the Inquisition's probably all right. At least trades with a creature. That is exactly what happened. That is real news, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Come on, I just want to get this 4-1. Give me the 4-1. Give me the 4-1. It's what we want. So what do you guys think of playing like some Shadow versus Blue-White control matches? I'll send out the bat signal here. So we have two ley lines. We have an engineer explosives, which is a removal spell, and we have a battle rage. I think I'm going to keep this hand. Now, I think we're going to put in both ley lines because they could have um, 
nature's claim in their deck. Oh, they don't have a ley line. Sweet. All right, there's the Gargadon. So we're on a clock. God, the Gargadon is so good. This Gargadon has been like a great counter to what we're doing here. Okay, the light. We can't have them have Lightning Axe. Because Lightning Axe is like going to kill the Shadow, and that's not good. Yeah, I don't think it's that close. So that's why I'm trying out a new plan. And I might, um, I would like to try it, but I've only played against Blue White Control once or twice tonight. I'm not even sure. If I find a Shadow, we're in good shape. But if we don't, Scargadon is, it's coming. Yeah, I don't think it's that close. I think it's our, I think it's our worst matchup in the format, to be honest. That's why that's why I'm trying such like this weird sideboard plan. <clears throat> oh, I had a new YouTube subscriber. Thank you, William Dub. Like, super drunk. I kind of want to dismember this. Just so that if I do draw a shadow, I can just play it. That's a better dismember target. Yeah, I think I think you're in the minority there. That sometimes it happens. Come on. Oh, we're not finding a shadow. Oh my god, we're gonna lose. This is another argument to have Disdainful Stroke my board over Counterspell. No, I don't even think I boarded in here. But I guess I could just play out this Engineer. Oh, man, can they cast this? If they can cast this Vegvine. All right, there's their Blood Crypt. So what are they at? Oh, so they can just, like, bring this thing into play next turn and kill me? Oh, my God, this is so embarrassing. One, two, three, four, five. Tilt. Oh, that's so embarrassing. That's a good counter from them, though. 